Welcome to order management. The first thing that we're going to do is go through each section of order management to ensure you're using it in the correct order. The first thing that we're going to want to do is just add a few products. Right, so from here, what you can do is you can either scan products, type in the product code or the product SKU or the name itself. In this case, let's try Chroma Chameleon. Click on it. And from here, you'll be able to select whether or not you want to sell it via piece, pack, or case with its respective costing involved. Don't worry. If you select piece, pack, and or case, whatever packing you decide, the system will automatically debit the amount of, we'll say, inventory each one has been assigned to. So in this case, if a piece is one piece, if a pack is six, then or a case is 20, each one will remove the amount properly. For this example, we'll stick with the piece and you can see we have 91 remaining stock in its entire network. From here, you can also change the price that you want to, to charge at. So if it's 179, let's say you want to charge 150 for it. Each time you make a change, you're going to want to tap recalculate totals. And this way it will tell you what the uh, expected total cost will be. Now from here, the next thing that we're going to want to select is the type of payment we're going to make. So if we want to just open the order, you're going to select pay later. Now, you can also select what status you want to open the order as. Um, generally speaking, you're going to want to open the order as just open itself. Of course, if you decide to pay with a credit card immediately, the system is going to allow you to pay using a credit card and the status will be a credit card status. So we're going to select pay later for that for, uh, for now. Remember that if you decide to make changes, each time you make a change, you're going to want to recalculate the total. So let's give you an example. So if I do Bolt of Blue and Neon Diablo, the system will continue to add the cost in there. But every single time you make a change, you're going to want to recalculate the total so the change is saved. Finally, what we're going to want to do as well is create a new customer or select one from the list that you've already created. From here, we can create a new customer by creating his contact information and filling their respective contact permission in. If, you, uh, if you're using a customer that's already existing, let's say I'm using myself, the system will automatically plug in the shipping addresses that you've assigned as well as show the shipping on the map. From here, what you're gonna do is press create. You don't really need to save and process payment right now because there's no pro uh, really no payment to process, but you can also select credit card and you know, save and process payment uh, during that point in time. But again, we're gonna use pay later as the example. Once you press create, by the way, um, emails will be sent out to the prospective clients. So let's say that you wanna charge 30 bucks for this, $20 for this. Again, recalculate the total. You can add in shipping charges at any time here. You can add discounts at any time as well or plug in customer or staff notes. So once we create this order, you'll be able to edit the order after the fact. So once the order is created, you'll see that the system itself will tell you exactly what's, uh, what the order consists of. From here, you can edit the order again and return back to the previous screen. So we're gonna save that again. Great. So once the order is saved, once the order itself is saved, you'll be able to plug in tracking number if you are shipping it and create a detailed shipment, or you can actually send a payment link. So this link will only exist and work if the status is open here. You can copy it and email the link to the client and what they will see is this. Any questions, please email admin at pyromark.com.